In Creo Parametric, you can use the face split command in the freestyle feature in order to split a face. Let's take a look at how to do that. I want to create a video game hand controller. Let's start off our freestyle feature. And as usual, I will go to the shapes drop down menu to select my primitive. I will start off with a sphere. And now that I have the sphere started, let's unclutter the screen by turning off the datum plane display. And I will use a command that I showed in a previous video. I want to break this up into three sections. So I will select one of the horizontal edges. Then we can use the edge split command to break this up into three sections. I want two splits. Let's click on that. I've got my three different sections in here. And now to make it wider, I'm going to use another command that I haven't shown before. Let's select these two side surfaces using the control key. Then I will use the extrude command in order to make it wider. So that is good to start off with. Now I just want to grab a portion of these two faces in order to transform them. So I want to split up these different faces. So I will select one of the faces, then use the control key to select the other face. Now we have the face split command here. And if I go to the drop down list, you can see that we have five different choices, 10%, 25%, 50%, 75 and 90. So this is how much it's going to offset the side edges in order to make the split. So 0% would be no offset, 100% would be complete offset. So you have somewhere between 10 and 90 to choose from. For these two faces, I'm going to choose 25%, and you can see how the faces are split. They are still selected. I have the transform option selected, so let, now let me pick them. And I can drag these out. And so now you can see where a person would end up holding those two parts of the controller. Let's do a, another face split. I will select this face, hold down the control key and select this face here. And for these two faces, I want the resulting center face to be even smaller. So I'm going to use a bigger percentage. I'm going to do a 75% split. And now you can see what we have. And we're still in transform mode. Let's grab these two and just drag them up a little bit. So now you're starting to see the shape of my video game controller. Let me turn off the display of the mesh so that you can see it and then deselect everything. And so that looks pretty good. And now to complete my freestyle feature, let's use the check mark. So there you can see how you can use the face split command as part of your freestyle feature creation. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.